Here are my Vortex clip-on handlebars. I'm curious how these compare in length to the bars I had. Nice. I think I'll have room for everything. Um, I need to also account for the room that this clamp will take. Sweet. Focus. I think this means 50 milliliter, or not milliliter, 50 millimeter and then left. Yes. This one says 50 for 50 millimeter and right. Do yeah, these look sick? Where do these go? On the ends of the bars? Yes. So there are two rounded ones. And then two flat ones. And he also has the seven degrees, I believe. Um, for the Ducati Monsters, mine's a 750, Caleb's is a 900, his is year 2000, mine is year 2002. Uh, the fork tubes are 50 millimeters in diameter, so I think there's uh, the Vortex clip-ons come in another size. For the Ducati Monster, get a 50 millimeter. So I have the front end stripped and ready to install the clip-ons. I am wanting to put the clip-ons under my triple tree. I think that's what it's called. See, like on Caleb's bike, he has the clip-ons on top. So I would basically, on my bike, be switching these two. My bike has three locating pins. Um, the two plastic ones broke, so all I have left is this one on the right handlebar. It's the most important one. It's the one for the throttle. So I went ahead and marked it on the tube so I can drill a hole and get that located. Here is my tank. So on 
this side. I wrecked uh, three or four weeks into riding and dented the tank there and then uh, a couple months ago I dented this side going through the canyons and um, we pulled those dents out by welding bolts onto the tank and then pulling them out and then filling it with Bondo. So I'm excited to see how this turns out. Check this out, it's coming together. This electrical tape came in clutch when I was putting this thing on and this thing on because those two things had plastic locator pins that have popped off and they just fit kind of loose on the bar. So I, I wrapped the bar with this and now they won't slip. <laughs> it's really cool that you can install everything on the bar in whatever order you want pretty much because you can put stuff on from either side of the bar. Unlike a bar that goes straight across, you have to work from the inside out. Okay, so here's the problem I'm running into. Um, it needs to be going all the way through. And this is blocking the... This is blocking the from going in there. Yeah, so I need to find a solution. I was thinking of making a spacer to go here, just so this reservoir is kind of not up against the bar. I would need to do the same thing on this side with this dude. Okay, I'm about to show you the solution I came up with for the levers not fitting onto my bars. I ended up not making a spacer, but instead using completely different levers. And I'll show you why, and I'll show you how. Here's the setup I'm going with. These are the new slash just reused levers I'm going with. Uh, the reason why is because these are actually made for clip-ons, so the uh, reservoirs do not interfere with the bars like these old ones did. See how close that is? That won't work. For clip ons. And as you can see, it's the same situation over here on Caleb's bike. I believe these came off of. I know they came off of another Ducati, but I don't know exactly which one it was originally. I have um, pretty much two parts bikes. Caleb and I both ride Ducati Monsters around the same age, so. Um, it's nice having those. But yeah, if you're putting clip-ons onto your monster, um, just keep that in mind. Make sure it will clear the bar. What do you guys think? So it still has a little bit of that OEM feel. Oh, I don't know if I ever pointed this out, but look at this. This is still here, obviously. I am just hiding it with flowers now. Pretty cute, not gonna lie. Maybe I need to just shave those off, but maybe I can make mounts for it and do something creative. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> So besides the issue I ran into with the levers, uh, I totally did not expect that. But if you're expecting that and you're doing the same Vortex clip-on handlebar install, it's going to be super easy. 
So a lot has happened between the last clip and this clip. For one, the bike is finished. I have completed the clip-on install. Um, I did a few other things like replacing the brake lines on the front. And what else did I do? Oh, the tanks is finished. Put the sticker on. Super happy with how the tank turned out. Um, and I got to ride it for about 30 minutes before I got rear-ended at a light. <laughs> and it was actually pretty awesome how it happened. I'm not happy about getting rear-ended, but I'm happy how it happened. Like if I was gonna be rear-ended again, this is what I would want. This is how I would want it to happen. It was the best case scenario. Well, let me explain. It was the best case scenario because the damage was very light, but it was enough to get something out of insurance. Okay, so this is actually the side that it tipped over on. And as you can see, no damage to the tank. Just so amazing. And that is because of the clip-ons. The clip-ons saved my tank. They kind of acted as like a slider. Um, just the lower positioning, it worked out really well. So uh, as you can see, the lever chipped. This was all scratched up, so I replaced it since I'm not using it on that side. I had... Oh, and yeah, I scratched my um, exhaust can, but I just covered the scratches with more paint, and from a distance, you can't really tell. So, um, I'm really glad that my tank was not messed up. That was the best part.